What's up, everybody? It's John Thurston with J-Rod Photography. And man, the time is here. The time is here. So if you watched the introduction I did about a week ago, I promised you guys that I'd do a full-fledged dive into how I approach skin retouching. So man, look, without further ado, man, let's jump straight into it. So what we have here is a picture I did a while back, and uh, we're going to use this as an example. So first thing, let's go ahead and duplicate that. And what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and make this our clean layer. Simple and easy. That's it. And we're going to come back and we're going to duplicate this layer two more times. So simply duplicate yeah, layer. We're going to call this one low. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to duplicate it one more time. We're going to call this one high. So what we're doing is we're setting up our, our two layers that we're going to use during our frequency separation. So let's go ahead and command, select, command G. Let's go ahead and group those together. Let's change this to FS, which we're going to use. All right, first thing we're going to do is deselect our high layer. We're going to work on what we call, what I call my blur layer. So let's jump straight into it. Go up and tap filter, come down hit Gaussian blur. We're gonna look at it right here. Make sure you click and hold so you can see the skin. Move around, see how you like it. I'm going to stay at four on this one. You can adjust this how you want. All this does is increases or decreases the blur. I like to stay at four for this particular photo because I think it's the best option to go with. Let's hit okay. Move on. We're going to select our high layer now. And this is where it gets good. We're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna to select image. We're gonna come down to apply image. We're gonna take it from merge. Our selected layer is gonna be low. We're gonna subtract 100% scale to offset 128, all right? So if you look here, it feels like there's nothing there. But if you zoom in, I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but if you zoom in, you're gonna start to see the texture features. So let's go over here to our normal mode over here. We're going to change this from normal all the way down to linear light. And now everything should be 100% crystal clear. So if we deselect our high layer, it goes to our blur layer. If we select our high layer, it goes back to the crystal clear image. All right, let's tap our low layer. We're going to add a layer on top of this. Just go down and hit the plus. Select our high layer, add a layer on top of that. So the one above low, we're gonna call that one fix. And the one above high, we're gonna call that one fix also. Because what we're gonna do, we're only gonna be working off these two layers. This layer is how I create my blur. This fixed layer right here is when I come back and do all my clone stamping and everything else. All right, so let's jump into it. I'm gonna deselect. I'll fix and high layer. All right, we're gonna select the fixed layer right above low. We're gonna come over here, grab your brush, and we're gonna go to our mixer brush. All right, mixer brush. For my mixer brush settings, I like to have it as wet 12, my load is 12, my mix is 15, and my flow is 10. Make sure you got the spray on. And that is it, make sure sample all layers are there. All right, so now that we got that selected, and those, for people who wanna know, you just simply hold down option and slide your mouse in and out so we can zoom in and see different things, all right? To increase your brush size, we all should know how to do that by now, so let's increase our brush size. The key areas that I like to focus on are these hard break areas, what I call hard breaks. So you see how it's light and then it starts to transition to dark. And then you start to get these areas right here. So if you see this little highlight right here, we have these areas. These are the areas that we're going to blend. It's almost like a barber when he's getting that fresh taper. My homeboy Chris will uh, love that analogy. You get that fresh taper, they start to blend those different layers after they cut it down. So those are the layers, especially the forehead, I like to go with because how my lighting is on this one is coming from here to the face. Beauty dish with the reflector down here to capture this gray in the eyes and add just a little bit of different 
artistic feel to it, all right? So the next thing we're gonna focus on is gonna be this break right here. So once you train your eye to kind of see the different areas, you're gonna know the areas you wanna blend. Okay, so if you chase this down, or if you trace this down, you see, you start to see these breaks right here. And these are the areas we're gonna focus on. On this side, it's, you can see it right here. We're gonna trace this down. These are the areas we're gonna focus on. And we, our focus continues all the way down to here. So if you notice right here, we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on the break right here also. All right. So for example, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So when we're focusing on breaks, we don't make our brush eyes to be too big or nothing crazy, but we want to go ahead and start attacking these breaks. So simple way to do it is just go ahead and start attacking. And if you notice it, we're starting to attack those breaks and eliminate those breaks. And what we're doing is since we're on our blur layer, we're actually creating the separation that we want. So when we get to that high layer, you'll see all the texture comes back. So if I just come over here and click it right here, you see everything comes back. All right, guys, let's jump straight back into it. And man, let's get to work, man. So let's get the blending. So we're gonna start working here. We're gonna start moving, transitioning those light and dark areas that we're doing here. And we're gonna start moving and grooving. Here we go. Remember, we're attacking these areas right here. So if you notice, we're starting to get those areas going and we're starting to blend those in. And what we're doing actually, we're actually loading it up and we're starting to move some of this like it's a painting. So we're starting to transition some of this lightness and we're pushing it up into it, as you see right here. All right, you guys, so if you're paying attention, you can see it. You can see it start to shape up on us. Let's be careful. We don't want to get it all crazy and start going over eyebrows and stuff like that. But we want to start attacking these areas. Now let's be careful around the baby hairs and everything else, all right? So once we start getting that, now we're gonna start blending. And it's almost like you're a makeup artist working on the contour. All right, guys, so if you bag out, you see this right here. Turn it back on, we zoom back in. We're starting to see all the different type of texture. All right, guys, so as you see, we turn our texture layer back on, we bag out. We're starting to see the difference already. Off, on, off, on, all right? All right, guys, so let me go ahead and just blitz kind of thing. You know what, before we blitz through that, let's come down here underneath the eye and let's focus on this because I was telling you, we like to trace this line. So we're gonna trace this line. We're gonna blend this up into here so we can start blending these hard areas away. And if you notice, everything's already starting to change. So let's go ahead and work in this eyebrow area. And let's start moving. And remember, we're grabbing this and actually sliding this over. We're loading this brush up from here and we're dragging and blending at the same time. So once we come down here, I'm gonna create our line right here. Remember, we're chasing down in here, but what I like to do is create this area right here, and then I do a hard drop down right here. And we're gonna start creating that separation line. And 
And for example sake, now that we have that line right here, let's go ahead and start the eraser. And we'll larging our brush up. And you start to see that line. We're attacking that line where we were just working at. And you see that line just starts to disappear. Almost just like you're getting a fade. For the guys understand, the fellas know. Almost like you're getting a fade in a barbershop. And we're just going to attack that line. We're going to attack that line. And we're starting to move all of the hard areas. All right, let's go over here. Let's get to work in this area right here. We know we want the same transition. So hard break here, lighter right here. We know we have a lighter right here from where we started at. Let's blend that away. And as you just seen right there, we start to get rid of those hard lines. All right, let's minimize. And let's work on this area right here. And now if you go back and zoom out, you're starting to see it take shape, right? So let's come in, let's select a higher layer so where we can start seeing everything. So let's go with nothing, skin before, skin after. And remember, we still have all the texture we wanted and all we did was attack this line right here, all right? All right guys, so you try this on yours. I'm going to fast forward and this part right here, I'm just going ahead and get to work and knock this out right quick, all right? Then we're going to jump back in when we start doing clone snapping, all right? Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, when we get to this eyebrow area, as you see, I already set it up for the T. So we're gonna focus here. Transition is down into here. So we're gonna come forehead. We're gonna start transitioning in. All right, guys. This is where we shape the nose, guys. So let's take our time. Let's shape this nose. All right, guys, so we're looking. We didn't came down, we worked on the bridge right here. Worked on our shape and contour, almost like a U on both sides, hit this C. And we're gonna come down. We're gonna keep that, uh, that nose highlighted. All right, let's come down and work here. Remember, we're looking for hard areas and we're just blending. We're not making this over complicated, we're just blending. All right, let's come down here, smooth this down in here. Now we can start dealing with the bottom of the face. Just transition our cheeks in, make sure we're good. There we go, let's grab it and pull. Maybe it's just like a paintbrush. The paintbrush is loaded, we're dragging. All right, cheeks are looking good. Let's focus on this lip area. Remember, we're dragging left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. We're painting the picture. So if all this is like this, it doesn't make sense to have this to be a whole different thing. All right, keep your brush small, let's drag. And as you see guys, you're starting to see it. It's starting to shape up. We're taking shape. We're taking shape. All 
everything's starting to take shape and as you see the blur layer looks crazy already this is this is the simplicity that i'm telling you guys this as other things that i do but this is always the starting point for me and my photos and if you're looking we only are working on literally four layers right now Technically, we're only using two of the four because remember, we're only working on the fixed layer. So we have a fix above high, a fix above low. All right, guys. So remember, sometimes simplicity is the best. All right, let's jump back into it. All right, guys. So remember, we're going to jump and we're going to do the neck. Like I showed you earlier, everything's get the same love. We don't just stop in one area. Remember those breaks that we saw earlier. We're going to continue with those breaks. Be mindful of the chain as I'm doing this. And sometimes models are going to come in. They're going to have different scars and stuff. A little nicks and nacks. That's fine. That's what this tool is for. Let's jump in and let's blend. Remember, we're just attacking hard lines. We're not deleting. We're not going to come in and go crazy and make us smooth as a baby's bottom. No. Remember, this is our blur layer. Don't be scared. All of our texture is on the layer above, on the low. And I tell my one-on-one -on -one students that I do this with, that if your blur layer looks good, then you're already there. So it looks, come on, man. Come on, guys. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, man. Our blur layer is already looking awesome. You gotta, you gotta give yourself a hand clap, fellas. If you, if you still moving around like this, I mean, we're doing it. We are doing it. So as you see, this is just our blur layer. And man, look at that. Look at that. That is, that looks good. That is good. All right, let's turn on our texture layer now. So we went over there and all we did is we selected the high and the fix above it. All right, let's jump to that high. Make sure it's selected and let's zoom in. And look at that, guys. Look at that. We're almost done. Like if you're a certain person and you like, man, I'm going to stop right here. You can absolutely stop right here and turn this in and your client will be amazed just by what you've done on two layers. Again, I want to repeat this to guys. My whole goal in doing this is I'm not gatekeeping secrets or techniques. I'm not doing it. I'm not that type of guy. The people that know me in real life know what I have, I will show you. So I was shown different ways of doing it this way with 15 layers, doing it this way with 10 layers. I sat down, I cracked the code, and I figured out a way to do this within five layers only. Five layers only, remember that. We have our clean layer that we duplicated, then we have our four layers, the fix, the high, the fix, the low. We're in five layers and we're already there with having an amazing photo. And if you sent this to a client, they will love it as it is right now, but we're gonna keep going, all right? Let's go over here, let's grab our clone. And now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come in and we're fine tuning now. So let's keep that zoom size small. Remember, for those who don't know, option, select the area you want, and then we're coming over and we're clone stamping. Bam, just like that. So what we're gonna do again, we're gonna target a few areas, do a little cleanup of small pores and small little bumps, and we're gonna come in and we're gonna attack those areas, all right?
All right, guys, and here we are. Like, literally, here we are. Like, you can't, if you're not proud of yourself by using these things, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you on how to achieve photos that look like this. So, look, once again, man, I appreciate everyone. And I am telling you, man, you too can make photos that look like this. And I'm going to go back to my catch saying, like I always say, look, as I always tell my clients before they leave, you, you go out there, you work hard to earn your money. And you go sit in front of a camera and you want a certain expectation. Remember, you deserve photos that look like this. All right, man, I love you guys. Until next time, peace and blessings. Bye.